All right, so one of the cool things you can do with a scraper is that you can make an API out of a website. So today we're going to make a API out of Kickstarter. Now, this is all out of their public, you know, website, so this is public information. We're not doing anything that, you know, privately that Kickstarter wouldn't want. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, programmatically grab some Ajax calls that Kickstarter normally makes and we're gonna make them inside of our application and make our own API for our own use okay we're gonna do this with Node.js and we're gonna do this with a little help of a, a Node.js framework that uh, we've been working on called Cornerstone it just kinda helps out you don't really have to worry too much about it okay so first of all let's get started um, we're gonna start off in terminal I'm gonna CD to where my project is so hdocs test slash uh, kick API 2 I think yeah okay so we're going to um, uh, npm uh, install CS first which I already have so I'm not gonna do that which is installs the framework and then we'll just do CS init and dot because I'm in the current folder that's gonna initialize our our project so here's all the files over here of the project again not very important we're gonna open controllers index which is basically gonna just show us um, our project. And just to show you what this is, to start things off, I'm just going to do, it. well, after I do this, I got to npm install all the dependencies, uh, which it doesn't like, because I spelled install wrong. Okay, now that all the dependencies are installed, we're just going to start the server, so cs run. That's just going to start it off on localhost 3000, so let's just open that up real quick, just to show you where we're at localhost colon 3000 okay and so here's 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 our starting project okay starting point so we're going to have a couple api calls that we're going to test for the purposes of this little video we're going to do a search so we're going to do a route that's slash projects slash search and then we're going to have a term in the url so colon term and that's going to take in a request, a result, a response, I should say, next, and then the term itself. Okay, That's our first call. Our second call is going to be, we're going to get a list of all the categories, right? So slash categories. And again, rec, res, uh, and next. I'm not really going to use next, but it's there. Okay, so these are the two API calls that we're going to invent for this purpose. Uh, we're going to start off with projects because it's easier. So let's start off with discovering the Kickstarter API. So let's hop over to Kickstarter, open our network panel, uh, filter by XHR, and let us do a search for robot. And we will uh, take a look at our... We're going to take a look down here and we see that there is a Ajax call. Thank you, Ajax. And the result of this Ajax call is a list of projects with a bunch of information. Super easy, a nice JSON response. Good job, Kickstarter, for nice JSON responses. We look at the header, we can see that this is the URL that we'll be needing to hit with the term right there. And we look at what's being passed in. And just a query string, no post parameters. Okay? So in our project, uh, we need a couple utilities here to help us. So we need, we're going to need three utilities actually two utilities. We're going to need request. Request equals require request, which allows us to make get and post requests. We're going to need something called Cheerio, which I like to do scraping. It basically gives you a jQuery access, jQuery-like access to a scraped page. And so that's going to be require Cheerio. Okay. And then at last, I'm going to say our base, which is a Kickstarter base. I'm just going to copy that from uh, all of our all of our calls are going to be at this Kickstarter.com base right there. Okay, cool. So now I've asked for these resources. I actually need to npm install them. Otherwise, I can't use them. So let's go back to the command line, stop our server, and say npm install request, and then npm install Cheerio. Okay. Now we have our two resources. So let's pop over to Kickstarter again and take a look at how we're going to make this call. So what we need to do is make a request to slash project slash search dot JSON question mark term equals and then our term. So let's pop over to our, our call here and we're just going to say request and we're going to pass it an object. Our method is going to be get which is implied. You don't have to put this but I'm just going to do it anyway. Our URL is going to be now uh, one of the cool things about using this framework is I can write ECMAScript 6, it's the next version of JavaScript. So I'm going to use template literals here, which is in backticks, and then 
uh, dollar sign curly braces for a variable, base, and then slash projects slash search dot json question mark term equals and we're going to do some more variables dollar sign brackets again this is ECMAScript 6 they're called template literals uh, and that's going to be our term that we passed in from here right so what CS does is it says okay you want this term in the URL got it here it is in the variable boom and then we're going to say uh, json true because uh, without the json header kickstarter will not return actual json it'll return the page okay that's how it works and if you wanted to find that out yourself you would just try it and it would fail and you would have to figure out by looking at their headers that it is a accept application json therefore you would want to send the same headers okay i'm not going to dive super deep into that because of time so once we make that request we say okay cool function error response body body being the actual returned stuff and we're just going to console.log error if there is one and then we're going to res so our res again is what cs gives us as our res back to the page or our response res.json we're going to send json to the page and we're going to send out the whole body okay so that's pretty simple right there so let's start our server go back and let's just say cs run again so server started up good and now let's just pass in so slash projects slash search and let's pick something else like uh, I should have thought of something ahead of time uh, balloon I spelled balloon totally wrong <laughs> it still had some results <laughs> balloon cool okay is that how you spell balloon you know I'm not even gonna look it up I, that could be spelling balloon wrong whatever I don't need to spell properly anyway um, so uh, here's some Kickstarter results for Balloon. As you can see, it's working. Here's our API. Uh, I have a little plugin for Chrome. If I didn't have this, um, this would be my raw result from Kickstarter, right? So there you go. That's how you do a search call. So now what I want to do is is do another call to get all the categories. This one we're going to actually use Cheerio because it's a little more complicated. I couldn't find an actual Ajax call in this case to give me the uh, to give me the actual category. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape to get them. So we're going to pop over to Kickstarter, the Discover page, and on the Discover page we see all these blocks of categories, right? So we need to scrape these. So let's take a look and analyze the DOM and figure out how we can DOM scrape these. So if we look at the DOM, we can see we've got a we've got an A tag here. So we got a big div, and let's look at the rest of them. Okay, so these divs are the core. So all these divs, there's nothing on the div that tells us what it is, but there is on the A tag. Looking at the A tag, we see a class. 26 that is the category ID that I want and if we look further over we can see um, this is crafts so hover BG color crafts crafts is the name let's look at another one just to confirm so six is the category ID here and then and then dance so is the thing here so we're gonna use regex to strip that out and we're gonna use regex to strip that six out okay so to do that we're gonna start off by requesting this page so request and this time uh, it, it's going to be a get as well, and it looks so. Yeah, I'm going to use a shortcut for request for this first part because I just want to get the page. So I'm going to use request.get, which just takes two parameters, being the page and the function. So I'm just going to say um, request.get, and then again back ticks because we're going to use a variable base, which is awesome, and we're going to say slash discover, which is the same thing that we got by looking at the page uh, here. So discover, and then we're going to say function and then error response and then body okay so here we are with our page now that we've got the page body being the page we're going to instantiate cheerio so var dollar sign because we're maybe we're used to jquery even though again it's not jquery uh, dot load body so now we've loaded the page into dollar sign and now we can use dollar sign to grab stuff so the first thing we're going to do is um, get all the categories categories oh my god you know what? <laughs> Get these guys <laughs> as a list. I cannot spell right now, and that is totally fine. All right, so var classes equals. So let's. We're gonna actually uh, using jQuery. It would be dollar sign div dot cat. I believe they all have category as a class. Category container. Whoops. Category container a. Let's confirm that that is correct. I'm gonna grab that selector. I'm gonna assume they have jQuery. Pop it on. Yep. There's all my A tags. That selector is good, and they are using jQuery on their page, as most people do. All right, dot map. We're gonna map 
all of these. I so what we want to do is get so we're again. Let me confirm here. We're gonna take these a tags and we're gonna grab all the classes and then we're gonna regex them. So the first step here is I'm gonna make an array of just the classes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all the classes a tags. I'm gonna do a map which is gonna grab one thing from each guy and give it to me. So I'm gonna return just. Uh, I, I wrote I here, which I don't need I. The way that map and jQuery works is it's this, right? This is the, the A tag. I'm going to do this at attribute class. This, again, what this is going to do is give me a list of all the classes. So just so I, I'm showing you what I'm doing, res.json classes. And let's just take a look at the page. So this is slash categories. And it totally didn't like that. Not happy with me. Uh, JSON at stringify circular reference. Right, so uh, it, using just like jQuery returns a jQuery collection, using Cheerio returns sort of like a collection. So once I actually have my my jQuery like object of array, I actually need to do dot get to get the regular old array. And now I can output it. So once I've done dot get, there we go. So here's my array of just the classes, right? So that's that's the key here. I just want my classes, so now I can loop through and regex the crap out of them and get what I need. So uh, how are we going to do that? Well, there's a couple ways you could do this, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna form in one loop. I'm gonna form an a object that is the the category ID as the key, and then the category name as the value. And the best way to take an array and turn it into an object is a reduce function. Okay? If you haven't used reduce before, you haven't lived. Classes.reduce. Reduce takes uh, a function and it takes three parameters. We're going to use two of them. The first one is the final result. I'm going to call it all. And the second one is the second thing is the each iteration. So I'm going to call it item. Okay? So again, and then after the function call, it takes a starting initial value. In my case, an object, which is what I want it to be. So, to explain this again real quick, we're going to, classes is an array, and we're going to reduce the array into something else. Throughout each iteration, I have access to the all variable, which is every, which is the final result that I'm getting at, and I want all to start as an object. So that's why I'm putting it down here as an object. My initial value is an empty object, and all is what I want to become every time. So I have access to it. I can push onto it as an example. Or I can I can create the object as I'm going. And an item is each iteration of classes as I'm looping through. So what do we need to do? Well, I need to get the var ID and I need to get the var name. Okay? Now I'm not gonna explain these regexes because I'm running out of time. I'll paste these and quickly run through what they do. Um, that's the first regex and this is the second regex. I would like to explain these, but I'll, I'll do a little bit. Basically, uh, yeah, I wrote CL before. Let's do item. So each iteration, I'm gonna is a string, right? So I'm gonna match using regex category dash, and then a number more than once. Okay. So if we look at here, category dash, and then a number more than once means it could be a one, or it could be a two and a six in this case. Okay. So that's the regex category dash, a number more than one, and I want the once uh, match which is going to be this number, because I've put parentheses around it. The zeroth match would be the whole thing. The first match would be what I've put in parentheses. And that's our ID. Then we're going to match uh, hover bg color dash. And then instead of a uh, backslash d for digits, we're going to do backslash w for uh, letters. OK? So same thing here. Hover bg color and then backslash w plus for multiple times, multiple instances of that, right? So same exact query except W instead of D. And then again, same thing. We want the oneth instance because we want the zeroth would be the whole thing. The oneth would be just the thing in parentheses. So that's var ID and var name. Now using the reduce, we need to set all name because we want it to be, this is backwards. It should be all ID. So each key is the ID, right? And actually, you know what? Let's do it the other way. Let's make it keyed by the name. So set the key equal to ID. And then we just have to return our whole object. And that's how reduce works. We take an array, we do stuff to it, and then we return everything. And then we just reset the whole, we, we do all this and, and muck with all, and then set it equal to a variable, in which case we're resetting classes. And then we're gonna re, uh, res.json classes. So what does all that mean? If I go to categories, 
boom, I now have an object of each of the names of the categories next to their IDs. Okay, and if you're wondering why, uh, if you're wondering what this plus was for here, this plus turned the whole thing into an integer, right? If I didn't do that, and save it, it would be strings, not as helpful as the actual numbers because they are IDs. And then you could use these IDs for further scraping and AJAX calls for the page. Okay, so to sum up, we used we got an array of all the classes. We used a reduce to turn it into an object, keyed by the name, valued by the ID, and you can see how we've made two of our own. API calls to Kickstarter using their Ajax calls. Thanks.